Hello, welcome to the Dolphin Academy vlog. We've been getting a lot of questions from our followers about how uh, Luna is doing. That's Luna right there. Come here, baby dolphin. Now, at two years old, she is still the youngest dolphin of our community, and so she is our baby. And what we're going to do is spend some time telling you all about Luna. This is her day to shine. Luna is just the latest of 15 different dolphins living here that were born and raised under our care. She's a recipient of years of knowledge and skillfully applied care that allow baby dolphins to thrive with us in Curacao. That care actually begins before a dolphin's birth. It even begins before conception. As featured in vlog four, Dr. Mariana Silva is able to use her portable ultrasound machine to routinely monitor every dolphin's reproductive status. She can even forecast a female's ovulation, knowing when she could become pregnant and being certain she is not in the company of a related adult male dolphin during that time. As far as the chemistry of a dolphin couple, well, that's all up to them. Dr. Silva can spot fetal development as early as six weeks after conception. This is an ultrasound picture of Dolphin Roxette's uterus. The dark shape in the center is the amniotic fluid, and that mass bulging at the bottom is the placenta and early fetus of Luna. At three months into the pregnancy, Luna is looking a lot more dolphin-like. Here, she's upside down, and you can clearly make out her little head on the left. The two X marks are where Dr. Silva is measuring the width of her torso, a teeny tiny 3.3 centimeters. At four months, Dr. Silva is now measuring the width of her skull, which is already wider than her torso was just four weeks ago. Luna's starting to get too big to fit within a single frame. At six months along, here's a good look at her backbone, and that's her little tail fluke on the right. Just six more months to go. All those early measurements during Roxette's pregnancy have allowed Dr. Silva to calculate a very accurate due date, often within a few days. When it's time to deliver her baby, Roxette will begin having muscle contractions that begin pushing Luna out. She was born in the middle of the night under a full moon, and we were there for her, literally. When the due date is near, we post a 24-hour watch to make sure our staff can assist if necessary. How do we assist in a dolphin birth? Let's look at some of our daylight scenarios so you can see everything. The nursery lagoon provides plenty of space for mothers and babies, but it is also the perfect size to allow trainers the chance to help if necessary. When a mother goes into labor, trainers will enter the water and form a line around the edge of the pool, forming a protective barrier from the edges of the lagoon. Sometimes during labor, a mother dolphin can become tired and lean not only on her fellow dolphins, but her human family as well. Also, on the rare occasion a newborn baby accidentally becomes separated from the mother after delivery, trainers can assist until mom catches her breath. Roxette had no such issues while delivering Luna, but it was too dark for filming, so let's get a good look at Kayena's daytime birth. Here's our first picture of Luna at first light. When we see that things are clearly going well for mother and baby, trainers will exit the water, but we always make sure there are at least a couple of people around. Our next important job is to confirm that the calf begins nursing. Today, Luna continues to nurse milk from Roxette, but at two years old, she eats a few pounds of fish each day as well. It's a popular myth that says training a dolphin is dependent upon using fish as a reward. We're here to tell you that the notion of relying on food to motivate a dolphin to learn is complete nonsense. If we want dolphins to cooperate with us, then we have to make sure we are interesting enough. A stimulating activity combined with praise and attention is all Luna needed. Watch this footage back when she was only six months old. Notice how enthralled she is with her trainer Talitha and our guests responding to multiple signals purely for attention alone.
Notice when Talitha does give Luna a fish to see if she wants to try eating one, she merely treats the food like a toy. In fact, all of the dolphins born here were trained and participating in interactive programs before they ever ate a single fish. Here, Luna is using a fish as bait to tease the gray snapper below, daring them to steal it away from her. These days, Luna is fully integrated among all the individual members of her human dolphin family. Although she will continue to associate most closely with her mother for several more years, she often interacts individually with other dolphins, especially her best friend, Suku. And the sky is the limit for the number of specialized behaviors she will go on to master throughout her lifetime. Well, that is that completes our vlog for the day. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and please, if you have comments or questions, join us uh, down below. And for now, we'll say goodbye. Later, guys. Adios.